did you guys, as students and then later on as workers, um, encounter any kind of bad work conditions or have to kind of maybe struggle or fight for rights or how did, how was the working conditions? I don't know that we ever really thought about that, you know, per se. Um, not, they do nowadays because there's, there's, there's rulings on terms of state law in terms of uh, numbers of patients and that type of thing. Uh, <clears throat> then sometimes you felt like you were overloaded, but, but nobody, back in the 40s and the 50s, Nobody is really, you know, zeroing in on that type of thing to look at ratios and that. If you're looking at a nurse with so many patients, uh, like if you were on night shift, you, you were probably one RN with 20 patients. Now, back then, it probably wasn't as complicated in a sense, and we didn't have ICUs. ICUs developed for the criticalness of a patient. Because if you had 20 patients, you had one critical, then you, your time was going to that critical patient. And the others got ignored in a sense. So you hoped that the rest of them were able to fend for themselves, if you will. <laughs> that, you know, that was kind of how things were. Uh, so nursing has evolved kind of tremendously from when I'm 40s until to nowadays. Uh, intensive care units came uh, in the 70s. Uh, premature nursery care developed probably in the late 50s. Um, I can remember sending a, we sent a nurse from here to Chicago. Because um, it was a nurse in Chicago who had really developed the, the primary critical care for preemie infants. And uh, so we sent one to Chicago for the training. The um, did she come back and train you guys, or yeah, she trained more. So yeah, yeah, and 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 eventually, gradually, the 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 care evolved in premium nursery, where now you know you can pretty well save uh, most of the kids from a pound and a half on up. We'll say. Uh, I'm not sure that we've always done society a favor because you don't know what the brain power of the child's going to be. By the time they reach 10 or 15, you may have saved a body, but you may not have, have given them the quality of, of mentality up here to, to be, you know, take care of themselves. They may be a dependent person for their whole life. So, you know, you have to evaluate what am I sometimes doing we don't know the results of our work with preemies, unfortunately, or some of them. <laughs>